hey guys welcome back to the channel this is your boy Badal and uh, as you have seen in the title this title this video is about our interim manager the legend the man the living legend the invincible himself Freddie Lumber okay let's start with this shit so Freddie 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 first of all I'm an Arsenal fan if you don't know this by now then you are an idiot I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm an Arsenal supporter and you know what, it takes a lot of guts these days to admit that you support Arsenal looking at the way things are going on it really takes a lot of guts and courage to admit that you support Arsenal but you know what, I'm a courageous man, I'm an adventurous man, I'm a guts man I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna admit and say that yes I do support Arsenal I love Arsenal, I love this club and um, so um, yes, having said that, I'm gonna say that I do love Freddy, I respect him, he was invincible, not just me, but we all, I think, we will always love him, we will always, always respect him, but as a player, that's the key factor here, we will always do all that, non all that shit, but as a player, but him as a manager of a Arsenal football club, he's shit. He is utter shit. Now, and I'm also you, uh, as the title says of this video, Freddie Lombard is mentally weak. Freddie Freddy is mentally weak. Now, many of you guys, I'm gonna turn their nose up and, you know, um, give a lot of shit towards me. I don't even care, to be honest with you. But what I'm gonna say is, I know it's true, you know it's true, I admit, you admit, the only difference is, you don't have the guts to say it, I don't have the guts to say it, and I say it loud. The Freddy is shit as a manager, and he has no mental toughness and strength anymore. He had that, all he had all of that as a player, but as a manager, he doesn't have the character, he doesn't have the mental stability and mental toughness and mental strength. And I'm going to back my talk here with some stream of events, which might justify what I'm saying, it's up to you to make your judgment. I don't even give a shit what you think about it. But the way I look back and think about it is because of these two things. The first thing is, okay, let's start. Uh, you know, whenever there is a change in a manager, change whenever a club changes the manager, no matter how big or small the club is, you can see a reaction. As you can see a reaction from the fans. You can see a reaction from the players. You can see a reaction from the club itself as a whole just look at the other day uh, Everton played against informed Chelsea and they defeated Chelsea 2-1 or something 2-1 3-1 something and that is also with an interim manager a temporary manager temporary guy coming into the picture but there is a change in the manager and you can see a reaction from the players they bounce back they fight back they have high spirits they have different character altogether when Freddy came into the picture, when he became interim manager, we all expected the same. We all expected there will be, oh come on, there will be some reaction now. The players will show, show more character, more fighting spirit, and we will turn it around. But so far, we all know that has not been the case. Now, when Freddy came in, came in for the job for the first time, he dressed. He, now this thing what I'm gonna say might sound so silly and so minute to you but if you know human psychology, human psychiatry or human psyche even 10% or even a little bit you will understand that yeah this this the, this um, event which I'm gonna explain does hold some, hold some uh, credit does stand for something and it will indicate that Freddy is mentally weak when he first came for the job he dressed with he was dressed in a um, track suit he always dressed like that when he was even managing under 23s where he was doing a very good job when he came for the job for the first time as Arsenal head coach interim manager he dressed in the like he dressed like that he came in a track suit and some old fucking idiot from a rival club nonetheless came up with some nonsensical shit comment about the way he was dressed for the for his job now remember this is the man I'm not gonna say the name because he knows who he is you guys know who he is that same guy when he became the manager he was shit as a manager he is shit as a pundit as well and you know it's true oh it's damn true so some old fucking idiot from a rival club nonetheless 
come up with the nonsensical most silly comedy we'll ever come across and you let that comment affect you the next time when we see Freddy he is going to a, 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 a tailor and he is getting a custom made tailor's a tailored suit to him for himself what is that about you know you don't have your own belief you don't trust your own belief your own principles the things that you stand for just you just gonna let some idiot across the road some a guy who has no no sense whatsoever what he's talking about and you're gonna let his nonsensical talk affect you now that is a typical sign of somebody who is mentally weak now if you, again if you know human psychology even a little bit you will know it's true you, when you let somebody affect you your behavior your thought process your way of life just by looking and listening to somebody saying something oh my god you are mentally weak so that's first point now second point is when freddy became the manager even his, in his first interview, he admitted it openly that I'm not going to change too much. I'm not going to do some drastic case. I'm just going to change a little bit here, a little bit there. And that's it. So that itself says that he was scared of the criticism. Because if he changes too much and he thinks go all tits up, people, first some people will say, oh, you know what, he is doing his job for the first time. He is bound to do mistakes, but there will be some people who will criticize him a lot, and he knows how much that, how much how severe that criticism can be. So he's already protecting himself. He's already going on the back foot. He's already creating a defense mechanism, saying that no, no, what I'm not gonna change too much. I'm just gonna carry on the way things it is. So you don't criticize me too much, okay? Just a little bit is fine, but not too much. So that is again a critical, typical sign of somebody who is not ready to take the criticism, who is who is scared of making changes and making his taking the responsibility and doing things his way because he's scared that if things go wrong, he will be criticized heavily. Again, a typical sign of somebody who is mentally weak. When he came into the picture and he managed the first game, first few games so far. If you look at the team, if you don't know that there is a change in the managerial uh, system in the Arsenal, you won't even realize whether it's still Unai Emery in charge or it's Freddy Lombard. You can hardly make out any differences. Now see, there are some changes attacking wise we look a bit different, but overall the people who play the game, the people who don't play the game, the the way we set up the team, we set up the formation, the way the people are positioned on the pitch, you will get confused whether it's Freddy or it's still Unai Embry. So he hasn't even had the balls to make the changes himself. You know, and it's not like, see, I am not a football manager or a coach, neither most of the people watching this video are. We don't have that credential. But still we can see that there are some changes which needs to be done on the pitch, tactical wise, position wise, personnel wise. And why Fred is not doing that? It's only and only, he's not an idiot, come on, he's a legend, he was a legend himself as a player, he's a legend himself as a manager, not a manager, but he has the coaching credentials, and he's still not making those changes, it's just again a typical sign of somebody who's mentally weak, who doesn't have self-confidence, who doesn't believe in what they think is right, he doesn't want to take uh, responsibility for his actions, because he's scared of criticism, if things go wrong, Man, so many things are there which are clear indication that Freddy is not up for the job as a manager. Of course, we all know that many of you don't want to agree or don't not don't want to not 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 don't agree, but they don't want to um, admit it because they are scared. Oh, come on! How can we how can we say negative things about a club legend? Remember, he was a legend. He is a legend. He will remain a legend, but as a player, not as a manager. So you can criticize him as a manager. So so for me. Freddy, he was great when he was invincible as a player and I, I will always respect him and love him for that but as a manager he's shit and he is mentally a weak person. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think whether you agree disagree. I couldn't really give a sh less shit about it and uh, yeah I will see you next time till, there, till that time. Just stay awesome. See ya.